What up, what up, what up? February 10th, 2019. In the Big Bear. The Big Bear area. Hey, bro. It's fucking February 10th, 2017. Cruising through the back streets in the Big Bear. We're getting some snow right now. It's coming down good. Actually, it was coming down a little better behind us. It was, it was, it was pretty awesome, actually. You really couldn't see anything. Um, but yeah, so what we are, where we are right now is we are on Sugarloaf Boulevard, um, which is, it runs parallel to Big Bear Boulevard. And it'll basically take you from Division Road all the way almost to Sugarloaf. It'll take you to, to, uh, to Paradise, the street name. Not to the real Paradise, but it'll take you to Paradise. And yeah, and I just got pulled over also. I knew inevitably that was going to happen one of these days. <clears throat> he let me go though. So I was getting irritated with all these moron drivers up here. And <clears throat> I did a little move just to, you know, kind of get out of the main street and go onto the back street. And uh, yeah. And then uh, he's like, why does it smell like... Uh, why does it smell like weed in here? <laughs> and, and I was like, uh-oh. I'm like, officer, I might have a little bit on me, but I assure you, I haven't smoked. Because I don't. That's that's like not the smart thing to do, to drive intoxicated. Freaking idiots do that, dude. Idiots do that. And it's against the law. So um, following the law is pretty, pretty easy. But when I get impatient in terms of my driving, sometimes I'll do what he thought was a stupid move. But yeah, he was there for 15 seconds. He's like, uh, and you know, I'm sitting there apologizing, like, officer, I'm, I am so sorry. I was just being selfish and trying, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, so he was super, super cool. Um, thank God it, it's snowing because uh, that's probably why he let me go so fast. But yeah, I'm so thankful I didn't have to get a ticket. So thankful. So anyway, I'm going to take us to the main road to Big Bear Boulevard so you guys can see what it looks like right now. Obviously, I could take the side road to get home fast, but I want you guys to see the main roads the main roads the man gets the main roads man a lot of mercy boy right near the beach boy oh shit see that ambulance so we're not going to deal with it we are going to take the side road because i know that ambulance is going to stop midway up that street and there's no other way out so unfortunately guys we're going to take el road they side El Road de Side, and I'm an idiot. I thought I, I, I could freaking get out right there, but I can't. So, guys, this place, um, when it snows a lot and you guys can't get down the hill or you guys can't, uh, you know, or don't want to, you know, I don't know. My whole point is this place, I've b heard of it charging over $300 for, for, uh, for people to freaking stay there. And we got a little loose right there. Oh, shit. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I was trying to get loose, but it just kept on getting loose, and it, it just wouldn't. Oh, is that another cop behind? Okay, thank gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so my whole point is that that place will charge you on days like this where you can't get down the hill or you're too scared to. Three hundred dollars a night almost, um, because they can. It's almost like a monopoly's prerogative type thing. Um, you have no other options, so they can gouge you however they want, which is something our town does wonderfully. We gouge the crap out of people. And uh, that's why with my my business, I do the best I can to take care of you guys. I don't typically have any minimum delivery fees, nothing, because, um, you know, most of the time, lots of people come up here and they're like, dude, I forgot to bring product. Um, I only need like a 10 or a 20. I'll freaking help you guys out. Now, if it's a 10, like all the way across town and it's these kind of these kind of conditions the risk just isn't isn't worth it um you guys are though so it in most cases i will take care of you no matter no matter what because uh you guys are my peeps and i want you guys to have a great time up here oh my gosh dude seriously I can't wait till this sunday is over when most of these people are 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 gone because it's so nice driving in this town when there's like no one up here because the town looks incredible. Otherwise, it just, you know, it looks like the quintessential concrete jungle um, when you're seeing all the cars too. Um, but when you don't, er, you know, everything looks white and you're not really thinking about concrete jungle up here, even though it, it is. Look at everything, <laughs> you know? Concrete jungle, jungle. 
All right, so now we are going to take this back street over here. Um, Fox Farm Road. Instead of going to Moon Ridge, we're going to go to the main road right now because I wanted to give you guys a view of what the main road looks like. And forgive me for not answering some of the uh, messages in the past hour since my last video. I've been driving this whole time and I got pulled over, which scared me even more. So I'm trying to do as little phone stuff as I can at, until I'm like stopped and ready to, you know, make like Tom and Cruise. So me, me, <laughs> wow, guys, this is really, really, really pretty. Not through the wall. Use it for what it's for. Speak the truth about me. Chugga. All right, we might slide through this stop sign. Nope. Oh, I love the brakes on this thing. Look at that, man. Look at that. 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 So, uh, yeah. Yay, yay. Let me drive by my friend's house right here. I got to give him the old honky, the old honk to say hello. Hope he heard me. <laughs> yes, I am a weird mofa. A weird mofa. And I know I used the S word. Oh, what? What is this little carriage or carriage? A uh, little baby stroller doing right there? Um, yeah, I know I'm weird, guys. But it's a good kind of weird, I guess. Any of my YouTube fans, single, single ladies, hit, hit me up. Hit me up. You know, I enjoy talking to you gals and. Um, you know, just, I don't know. I don't want to go through the rest of my life without, like, marriage or kids. Like, dude, kids are the greatest gift we're ever given on this planet. And I want kids. But I got to find the right freaking woman, obviously. Anyway, we're almost back to the homestead. Um, it's snowing pretty good. You can see all the traffic, too. It's just a nightmare. Gosh, I really hope most of these people are taking off. And, guys, yeah, it's, it's nothing personal. Like, like uh, I just like this town when it's really, really, really quiet um, because it's just so serene. Right now, it's just a nightmare, and it just makes you irritated, and it makes me um, just just really flustered. I get really flustered. Um, it's, it, it's no one's fault but mine for getting flustered. What are these people doing, man? Look, right in the middle of the lane. What are you doing, bro? Pull over. <laughs> Stops in the middle of the lane. What a donkey. Seriously, dude. You know what? I'm gonna shame this guy. Can you, can you guys see him? Right there. Just stop in the middle of the damn lane. That's what I should do, is like get these these people and their information and just post it on the uh, websites like YouTube and whatnot, Facebook, but that's being passive aggressive, so I shouldn't shouldn't do that, but it's just irritating. That's the stuff that causes accidents. So anyway, just please guys, like, like that type of stuff is just ridiculously frustrating and you know, sometimes I, I'm like, God, I hope they get hit, <laughs> you know, but that's not how I really, really feel. Nope, buddy. So I don't want anybody to, to, to get hurt, but you know, it's like almost like, well, if you're going to drive like that and just stop in the middle of the lane and not that I'm perfect guys, cause I'm not, I mean, you guys know this, I pull off some stupid ass moves too, but my moves don't impede traffic. My moves are trying to make make traffic go
and I gotta on this turn I always gotta stick my arm out the window to show the people behind me I'm turning left because they'll just run right into the back of you right here there are so many accidents guys right in front of my place um, because morons but anyway I love you guys so much February 10th 2019 till next time peace out and be well